All eyes were on the Federal Reserve today as it made its first interest rate cut since 2020. The cut is expected to pave the way for lower borrowing costs on everything from mortgages to credit cards. The Federal Reserve said inflation continues to drop steadily toward the targeted 2% mark. The stock market rose sharply following the news, but ultimately ended the day down roughly 100 po points. Add for more, let's bring in Dr. Jeffrey Campbell, professor of economics at the University of Notre Dame. Jeffrey, great to have you back on again. Uh, this was a pretty aggressive rate cut by the Fed. Did it surprise you at all and what is the signal so it surprised me greatly it surprised everyone i spoke with everyone had been pricing in 25 basis points or half of what actually happened um the cut itself the aggressiveness signals a real dedication by the fed to um easing rates in the near future and to in ensuring that um in their view the, that unemployment does not get too high. Um, there's an accompanying document that comes along with the decision called the Survey of Economic Projections. And it has most of the, if not all of the uh, FOMC participants anticipating a really uh, rapid and aggressive series of rate cuts for the next two years. Yeah, and talk to us more about what this is gonna mean for our economy and, and consumers. Well, for consumers, primarily, I mean, consumers, this matters for, for them in two ways. One, having a job so they have something to spend, and two, having low prices so that they can, that, so that, that spending buys them something. Um, the Fed is focused very squarely on one pillar of its dual mandate, which is maximum sustainable employment, or as I like to put it, minimum sustainable unemployment. Um, on the other hand, inflation is still running above uh, the Fed's 2% target. And the Fed's plans, as outlined in that survey of economic projections, don't really show how they're going to get that back down to 2%. It's about 25 to 2.6% now. And there's nothing credible in that document that says um, we're going to be able to lower producers' costs so that inflation comes down. How soon are we going to see uh, the impact of, say, mortgage rates? Mortgage rates um, are going to respond immediately. In fact, they already have. Um, financial market rates like that, those change very quickly. And so mortgage rates have come down, and we'll uh, be seeing that probably exacerbating one of the big challenges that Americans face, which is affording a home, because as mortgage rates come down, more people are able to finance a bigger house, and they bid up the prices of existing houses. Before I let you go, I don't have a whole lot of time left, but, but I want to switch gears here, and I want to ask you about this potential longshoreman strike uh, on sure. October 1st. Now, I know if a deal isn't reached, I mean, this could shut down ports from Maine all the way down to Texas just in time for Christmas. What are the implications here? Well, the implications, um, fortunately, are not going to be very big if there is a strike. Most retailers um, pre-shipped uh, their inventories before knowing that this was coming down the pike. So it looks like there's not going to be a huge amount of uh, uh, disruption at your local big box. On the other hand, the shipments that are left to get through, there will be some complications if the strike goes through, um, logistic complications. All right, well, thank you so much for weighing in. Always appreciate it. Thank you, Tracy.